This is to my baby. Because it doesn't matter how strong we are. It doesn't matter. A lot of things don't matter. Anyway, I'm saying this to say I was never going to do this video, but I actually had a dream about it. So I guess maybe it's time for me to do this video because it hurt my feelings last night that your feelings must have been hurt. And if you say they weren't, I might not believe you. I'm not calling you a liar. <laughs> I'm just saying I might not believe you because it thoroughly hurts my feelings when people do silly things like that. But you know what? My girlfriend told me once a long time ago, I was probably about your age. No, I was probably about, um, let me see, I moved here when I was 23. And, uh, and I was telling her, I said, mm, what's she staring at me for? What's she throwing her eyes in my direction for? You know? And she says, Tasha, when anybody does that to you, you just take it as a compliment. Because that means she's jealous of you. So that's why I say that. He's just, whoever that person was yesterday on your video comments, you know, it, they're just jealous of you. Because you are what they desire to be. Yeah, for real, for real. You know? Um, and there's always going to be, you know, you young ones out there think that things are going to change. They don't change. Things stay the same. You just get older and it doesn't affect you the same way. But it still hurts. You know, a little dinky, mm, ow, why? Never mind. You know, and then you just squash it faster, you know? Uh, and I say all this because... You know, people like that and people who want to be your friend for six months and offer you whatever they think they have to offer you for six months of friendship who just want readings. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who don't do readings, you know, don't do that to people because it really isn't nice and you get that back. Okay? You get that mm, back. You get all that ish back tenfold whatever you give out you get back tenfold that's what i believe and if you do this the scientology <laughs> the science footwork not scientology um behind that in your own life you will see that it does where the mind goes behind follows so when i tell tasha hey i'm going to give you you know a hundred thousand dollars of my uh See, I already forced it out of my head. Whatever, somebody was going to come into some money, right? And maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. But you didn't have to use me for six months pretending to be my friend just to get readings. Why do you think I don't make a lot of money and have to work here? I tell people what they need to know just, just for the asking. It would help if you made a donation, though. Or, you know, that was... That is one of, as I try to think back and be fair... The most hurtful times of my adult life. And this just happened like last year. And like I said, you know, when you're seeing this and you know I'm talking about you, I don't got nothing but love for you, honey. Because you know what? What I do feel, what I don't feel, I still want you to be blessed with whatever you are supposed to have by divine right. Okay? And that's none of my business. But, I, I'm, but what hurt about that is, like, I'm still texting you, and I'm still emailing you, and maybe you might not get an email or two, but I've always texted you, and you've always got the text before, and now you just stop texting? You just stop, right? I mean, you know, I'm not saying that you like my girlfriend or nothing like that, but dang, once, you know, we are creatures of habit, and once we get in the habit of texting somebody 20 times a day, yeah, it might go down to one time a day, but dang, you can say hi back. I know you, you have, you know, families and everybody else has families and friends and, you know, billion things keeping them busy. But dang, you can't say hi back at some point. So what's up with that? You're just using me. And you didn't have to use me. All you had to do was ask. Just ask. Isn't that amazing? Just ask. Or, ah, this is the one I really love, uh, Jordan. <laughs> when somebody befriends you just to get reading information, and again, I have to give it because I work for God. I don't work for this company. I, I, I don't work for you. I don't, I don't work for myself. I work for God. And uh, they ask you stuff. They don't like the answer and then don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Or his, he, No, he, this one tops it all. When somebody befriends you just to like, you know, make themselves feel better, which is good, of course, I'm always here to make you feel better, and myself too, if I could have a two for one shot. Um, and then all of a sudden, you get a new friend, and 
They don't talk to you no more. Ever. Ignore you. Yeah, because I know you got my, my tweets, my texts, my phone call, my email, my instant message. <laughs> you know, what is up with that? But you know what? Maybe that's the only time that we needed to be together. Yeah, because I can let stupid go fast. Yeah, I'm not here to do stupid. And um, thank God. Yeah, it didn't take, it took me a long time to think just to tell God, like when I do my readings, which I'm going to start, by the way, on Blog Talk Radio. Um, uh, in a, next week tell me if this is just a question and answer thing and don't let me get my hopes up on having a real friend because that's not a real friend a real friend sticks with you through thick and thin like like my baby Jordan you know every time I need a shoulder to cry on it's Justin and Jordan <laughs> yeah so it's sad in a way because you can't, people just can't, still can't just be honest and say, Hey Jordan, can, I know I don't know you, but can you just give me a free reading? Sure. That's it. You don't have to lie and say, Oh, Tasha, you're the best and I love you and da 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 da. And, you know, make plans to do things this time next year. Just, to, you know, basically say, Oh, F you. Who? And don't respond. You know, nothing. That is hurtful. And then you grow up, and then I grow up and say, oh well, they're lost because I know I'm a great person. What the hell? It's just your loss because whatever I gave you in the past, now I'm able to give twice that. You know, well, monetarily, physically. Uh, but spiritually, glad you're gone. Move, move out the way. <laughs> you know, make room for better for me. Yeah. So, you know, ain't nothing to it but to do it. It ain't nothing but a compliment. Yeah, so glad that you were in my life for a little short period of time. You got what you needed and left. Just And, and you talk about men who just want to hit it and split. Or women, I'm sure women do it too. <coughs> Excuse me. Though I don't know of any. And if I do, they must not talk about it. So, yeah. That's not nice people. Don't do that to, to, to us wonderful people like me and Jordan and Justin. Just use people and then leave. If you're going to use somebody and leave, make a donation then because it's business. You ain't a friend. Yeah, okay? Lordy, lordy, lordy. Anywho, I'm sitting, up, sitting here working on my next necklace. And uh, somebody that I kicked out of my life <laughs> called or text me and I'm like, who is this? Oh, I was that impressionable that you don't remember me, huh? Guess so, bye. <laughs> yeah, I know, it doesn't look like paper clips. Yeah, I think so too. But she loves it, so hey, that's all that matters. Because I think we're all, I think most of us, and it, it doesn't matter necessarily if you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, um, you know, um, what is it called? Scientifically, you you get it's life is a boomerang. Whatever you put out there is what you get back. You know, so if you think you are nothing, and if you think you have nothing, that is exactly what you are. Because whatever you keep saying is what you're gonna get. And I keep saying I want true, reliable friends, and so well, I got two new ones, so that's nice. <laughs> but still, you know, they're, we're in the process of trusting each other. And that's always a, a, a nice place to be, too, because you, you need a foundation for everything. So, yeah. And in any case, if, even if you don't believe in that, would you want someone to do that to you? Oh, you're smarter in math than me, so here, do all my math homework. And, uh, oh yeah, math class is over, so bye, see you later. Oof. Get kicked out of my life, have a nice life, goodbye. That's not nice. But that's okay, because you know what? God made us, God made me big for a reason. I can't speak on nobody else but myself. God made me big for a reason. And if it's to put up with your pity little crap and get over it, I can do that easily. Poof, be gone. You know? So I I, uh, 
I'm happy that you had that experience. So in you telling others, that will help others like a ripple in a pond. See, you were the pebble that hit the water and your, your lessons are springing forth, my dear. Get your keys up. That's my baby boy doing. Ah, life has so many wonderful, glorious lessons. And the biggest lesson of all is just remember love. Okay, the other biggest lesson, things do not change that much just because I'm 50 and you're, what, 20? Anyway, so you just go and be good to yourself. Have a beautiful day. Life goes on. And love yourself enough to just let it be water on a duck's back. And to whoever wrote that, God bless you. Fill your heart with lots of love. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Love yourself. Bye.